What's good YouTube, Sam from The Brown Gent here and welcome back to the channel. I have a very quick video for you guys today. It's about Sundog Growers, a company in the MJ space. And that's a word I'm gonna use a lot in this video. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about, you know, cause it's YouTube sensitive. Sundog Growers is one of those meme stocks that continues to soar every so often. You'll forget about it and then it's on one of your watch lists you'll check its charts and see it's up like 40%. So what exactly is going on with this company and should you take it seriously? And that's what we'll cover in this video. And all I ask in return is that you hit that like and that subscribe button and come join our family. Also, everything I say in this video is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So Sundog Growers is a Canadian-based MJ company that's been on quite the roller coaster ride in the last 12 months. You can see here that it dabbled between 50 cents and a dollar in December before going on an insane run of about 400% over two weeks in February. And this was timed the same time that meme mania was going on and it makes sense. The short interest in Sundog Growers was so high and it was one of 10 securities that were called out by the degeneracy that is known as the Wall Street Bets community. So when you start thinking of memes, we don't think of fundamentals, we think of hype, or as we like to call it, pumpamentals. Pump always gets respect the pump. But it's worth taking a look at from a fundamental perspective. This entire industry stands to grow to $90 billion by 2026. That's a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 28% over the next five years. And in the last month alone, Sundal's stock has surged about 35%, which has been enough to draw attention back to itself. But when we zoom out, we can see that this stock is really consolidating since its large drop off from 52 week highs of almost $4. Now there are no real reasons why it would have surged in the last while. The company has been strangely silent. We can only assume that this was based on market sentiment, especially considering that Sundial was trading near the low end of its trading range. Sundial ends up being mentioned along with other meme stocks on Reddit and other social media platforms. And this definitely sparks enthusiasm with retail traders. So every time we see Sundial slow off and sell off, it'll somehow pick up again. And the tech and growth sector saw massive corrections between February and April, which devastated around 70 to 80% of their value. And as I say, every reaction in the stock market is an overreaction. So we can expect to see some of this valuation come back as inflation fears become less of a concern later on this year. On top of that, there is increasing legalization of MJ across the various regions. While that's going on, application of it in the medical field combined with ever increasing consumer awareness on its health benefits is definitely driving growth. The entire MJ industry stands to gain from these market projections and Sundial will see some growth as it capitalizes on this as well. So let's take a look at the price chart and do some technical analysis. Sundial is sitting right now at 97 cents, three cents below our resistance level of a dollar. Now we broke through this last week, but still ended the week a little below it. This is a huge resistance level as we have bounced on and around it for months. We will need to break our 138 resistance level, which is two levels higher in order to keep up our momentum. At the same time, we are starting an uptrend and we need to be careful that we don't break below 87 cents. We don't wanna trend downwards because our level of support there is our real last line of defense at 76 cents. After that, there is nothing between us and 50 cents. It's pretty scary if we get down there. And what I'll be doing with Sundog Growers based on all of this is sitting it out and watching from the sidelines. If we approach 76 cents, I will look to see what the chart says. And if I start to see a trend upward, I will swing trade this between 76 cents and a dollar. Remember, due diligence tells you if you should get into a stock and technical analysis tells you when. And if you want help with this, jump into our free Discord. We're gonna start live streaming soon. The only other reason I may jump into this is depending on if there is a momentum trade, but that's all based on pumpamentals, not fundamentals. I do think that Sundial has a lot of potential in the long term, and I'm watching their earnings calls eagerly to see how the company progresses. Their next Q2 earnings call is in August, and I made a video on Sundial's fundamentals a few months ago, and I'll include that in the cards above. But right now, it has a lot more to do to convince me that they're a worthwhile investment outside of just a swing trade. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but you should always enter every investment, understanding if you're in it for a long time, 
or just a good time. Anyways, that's all I have to say about Sundog Growers in this video. Why don't you comment below and let me know what you think of this company and have you been investing in them? How do you view it? Do you see it as a swing trade or a long-term hold? And if you wanna see more of my videos, just like this one, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.